this video, we're going to talk about the relationship between fractional numbers. And in this particular problem, we've been asked to find a number that's one fifth of the way from one eighth to nine elevenths. What we need to realize is that even though this problem might be somewhat difficult to visualize, all we need to do to get a better idea of what we're looking at is to graph these on a number line. So I've drawn a number line here where we have zero on the number line on the left and one on the number line on the right. So we've really zoomed in to the portion of the number line between zero and one. I've gone ahead and graphed one eighth and nine elevenths, and these may not be perfectly accurate, but we know that one eighth is one eighth of the way between zero and one, right? If we divided the area between zero and one into eight sections, then one eighth would be at the end of the first section. So pretty close to zero. And then same thing here with nine elevenths. If we divided the section between zero and one into 11 pieces, nine elevenths would be at the end of the ninth section. So it'd be pretty close to one. So we have roughly an idea of one eighth and nine eleventh, and we have to think of those sort of as our endpoints. Now we're interested in a number that's one fifth of the way from one eighth to nine eleventh. So in other words, if we have this section right here, the section between one eighth and nine elevenths, and now we want to divide it into five pieces, which means we can draw four lines in between. So one, two, three, four, something like that. So now we have one, two, three, four, five fifths or five sections in between one eighth and nine eleventh. Then one fifth of the way from one eighth to nine eleventh is right here. It's at the end of the first section. That would be a fifth of the way from 1 8 to 9 11. So we're interested in finding this number right here. Well, really, this number is just 1 8 plus 1 fifth of however long this distance is, however long the distance is between 1 8 and 9 11. So the first thing we need to do is find out how long this section is. What's the distance between 1 8 and 9 11? And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to say 9 11, the larger number, minus 1 8, just like if we wanted to find the distance between 0 and 1, we would take the larger number 1 and subtract 0. We'd say 1 minus 0 is 1, so the distance between 0 and 1 on the number line is 1. Same thing here, between 1 1 8 and 9 11 we take the larger number 9 11 and we subtract 1 8 to get the distance between them. So now we just have a subtraction problem with fractions, which means we need to find a common denominator. The common denominator is going to be 88. So in order to get 88 for this first fraction, we're going to have to multiply by 8 over 8. So 8 over 8 times 9 11 to get 88 in the denominator. And to get 88 in the denominator of 1 8 we're going to have to multiply by 11 over 11 times 1 8 like this. And now when we do our multiplication, 8 times 9 is 72 over 88. 11 times 1 is 11, so minus 11 over 88. And when we do 72 minus 11, we get 61. So 61 over 88 is the distance between 1 8 and 9 11. So the length of this orange section here is 61 88. Now we need to find the length of just 1 fifth of this distance. So in other words, we found the length of the orange section, but now we need to find the length of one fifth of it to get this length right here. So in order to find the length of one fifth of it, we just have to multiply by one fifth or divide this thing by five. Remember dividing by five is the same as multiplying by one fifth. So either way, when we multiply across, we're gonna get 61 over 88 times five is 400 40. So that tells us that the length of this particular section right here, this length, the distance between 1 8 and this point that we're interested in is 61 over 440. So now in order to find this exact point right here, we need to do 1 8 plus 61 over 440. Because if we do 1 8 plus 61 over 440 on the number line, that'll land us right at this point that we're interested in. So we'll do 1 8 plus 61 over 440, we need to find a common denominator and we can find a common denominator of 440 if we multiply this first fraction by 55 over 55 because eight times 55 is 440. So multiplying across here, 55 times one, we have 55. 55 times eight is 440. Then we add 61 over 440. 55 plus 61 is 116 and of course our common denominator of 440. Now we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by two. We wanna reduce the fraction as much as we can because both the numerator and denominator are even. We'll divide by two. 116 divided by two is 58. 440 divided by two is 220. We have even numbers still so we can divide by two again. 58 divided by two will be 29 
and 220 divided by 2 will be 110. 29 is a prime number. It has no factors other than 29 or 1, and 29 doesn't go evenly into 110. So this is now an irreducible fraction. We've reduced it as much as we can, which means this will be our final answer. So if we were going to label this point right here, just like we labeled this point on the number line as 0, this one is 1 8, this one is 9 11 we were going to label this point, we would label it as 29 over 110. And we know that that point is one fifth of the way from 1 8 to 9 11 /ths.